Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna be working today on the future tense. Future, we're gonna go into the future. So this class is gonna be related to the topic that is on the future. So we're gonna be talking about future tense and this information should be in your notebook. So everything that is here should be in your notebook written. Okay, so let's see what the future is. So the future is, in this case we're going to, it relates to the topic that we actually use when we are talking about of an action that is coming into a future tense, meaning in a future that is near, okay? So in this case, it, it actually allows us to express the idea of talking in the future, but very close. For example, tomorrow, or the next week, or in the following days, okay? So what is the structure exactly? How does it work? So in this case, we have to use the subject or the pronoun, right? Plus the verb to be, which is actually am, is, and are. Plus, we need to add the going to right here. And we need to use as well the verb in infinity. Well, this actually relates to a person. Remember that the pronouns in English are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. So the pronoun goes in here. Now, right here in this case, when we go, when we, once we use right here the pronoun, we need to know which one we need to use. If it's I, remember that it goes with I. If it's he, she, or it, it goes with is. But if it's you, they, or we, it goes with are. Therefore, we're going to add the going to right here and the verb in the infinitive form, meaning in present, okay? That's it. So here we have a timeline. In this timeline right here, I'm going to show you exactly how is it that we are actually referring to the sentence. So here we have the past, meaning present, what we have right now, and the future, the actions that we're going to use in the future. So this is exactly how it works. Hey, so it's time to practice. We're gonna check in here the structure with some examples. So in this case, we're gonna check the same structure that we have in here, and we're gonna convert it into examples. So let's check. Subject or pronoun, in this case, it's going to be this one, I, meaning I. Then we have to use the verb to be for the uh, pronoun I. In this case, it's going to be am, I am. Then the structure says, add the going to. I'm going to add the going to. And then at the end it says, add the verb. The verb is run. So the complete sentence is, I am going to run in the future. Now, the other one, Sophie, right? Sophie is going to be replaced by the pronoun she. Therefore, she is going to be used with is. So Sophie is going to study. That is a complete sentence and it relates to the structure that we have in here, all right? So now, it's time for you guys to practice at home and what are you going to do? For you to practice, you're going to use, in your notebook, you're going to write sentences with the following pronouns. You're going to use for you, he, she, we, and they. And then you're going to use the same structure that we have in here, but with different verbs. You're going to use the verbs that you're going to see in your spinning wheel and you're going to use the verbs in infinitive. That is what you're going to use. So that's it for today, guys. Easy, right? <laughs>